Hello Aquarius and welcome to your October general tarot guidance with me Julie Poole. Hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. All right, my lovely people, let's have a look what we have. This is good for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, cross-watching. You know the drill. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Okay, the cards are flying for you Aquarius. We've got imagine and message in a bottle. Message message even in a bottle all of those yeah blimey they're a bit chatty today aren't they wow okay i wasn't planning on having so many but there we are okay <laughs> all right let me show you what we have imagine message in a bottle co-create which one do you want next? The Fates. Loyal Heart. And the Outcome. Happy, happy. Oh, this is very good. This is very, very good. Let's bring the camera down. All right. So <laughs> this is important stuff going on. Uh, Aquarius, you're the first of my air signs. Very different energy from the earth signs. So imagine what we can imagine, what we can think about, we can bring about. So what are you imagining for yourself, for your life, whether it's a new job, a new home, better money, better health, better happiness, better fulfillment, whatever it is that you are aligning with, you are imagining into being. Now, spirit is all around you. You've got message in a bottle. So as you align with, I am imagining my greatest future, then bring the future into the now, okay? And then imagining what it would feel like to be in that right now. This is all manifestation. I talk about this a lot in my book, From Hoping to Having. Link is below if you're interested. How to manifest and create and co-create. You've got the co-create card there as well. So the message in a bottle, look for the messages, the signs, the synchronicities, spirit around you, dreams, information coming through. You're suddenly drawn to a particular video or book or a conversation with somebody sparks up and you get some aha moments because you are in this co-creating energy with spirit, with the universe, okay? I love the co-creating card. You've got the cheetah here. Let me show you the card. The cheetah represents going all the way. The owl represents wisdom. And the egg at the bottom there represents new birth, breaking breaking open, okay? So you are co-creating what you are imagining into being. Now, the fates is really interesting because this is destined, fated, meant to be. And it's showing up now, which means that the time is now in October. And Aquarius, you are in this energy where you can create now what it is that you are imagining and bring it into being. Now, the loyal heart is important. It's key. Okay. It's a 35, which is an eight. That's a 17, which is an eight. We've got 40. Four is foundations. Eight is abundance. You've got message in a bottle, six, that's soul energy, okay? And the imagine card, we don't have a number on the imagine, oh, 20, I couldn't see it there for a minute. Twos, partnerships, working with you and your inner you, you and the universe, you're in co-creation, in partnership. And what number is happy, happy? 26, another eight. Okay, eight, eight, eight. So manifesting abundance, happiness, just beautiful so let's get some tarot we're going to use the tarot dreams to start off with let's get some more information for my aquarius please i have been finding that these readings are a little bit longer than my usual ones okay so we're just going to go with it okay interesting all right so we've got justice hanging man two major arcana cards queen of wands in your power and the eight of cups there you are you're off you are off towards this which is destined for you i'm going to add another tarot deck this is a new deck it's called the moon and stars tarot uh, by jane wallace all right my daughter bought me this for my birthday and welcome to my new home my new office my new space very different energy it's very lovely loving it okay so three of pentacles that's teamwork knight of wands we're taking action 
the empress there's your co-creating wow okay ten of pentacles <gasps> aquarius it just gets better and better final message well it's not final message because we've got a lot of clarifying to do yet and the page of cups these opportunities are on their way all right this is really good aquarius really really good get yourself comfy get a cup of tea let's chat all right so you are imagining something into being. You've got so much creative energy going on here. So harness it. Step into manifesting and creating that which you want. Justice. Now, justice is also fated, destined, meant to be. Sometimes we have to wait a long time for justice to be served, but it does eventually balance itself out. This is a Libra card. We are in Libra energy. So this is now. As we come into October, you're bringing the scales into balance. You're bringing that justice towards you, the fairness, the equilibrium. So this can be a new contract you're imagining. could be a new job, a new home. Um, or this could just be simply the balancing up of life where it's been out of balance, yeah? So we are imagining what does that feel like to have a life that's flowing and equal and balanced and fair. It feels absolutely amazing. So get into that energy. Now, the three of pentacles underneath, you are creating this with other people helping you. All right. So if this is a contract coming in, it's coming in from a lawyer or an HR person or whatever legal things are going on relating to contracts. If this is just balance and justice, then you're getting some help and support because the three of pentacles is that you're doing the work, but you've got other people helping and supporting you. You're not having to do it on your own. All right. Now, with the message in a bottle, we have the hanging man and that is about surrender, patience, timing. All right. And we can see the timing is coming. OK, here it is towards the end of October, fated, destined with the eight of cups and the ten of pentacles. It's coming in. So we're patiently waiting. <laughs> OK, they're laughing, my team, patiently waiting. We're not good with patience, are we? You know, I'll hold my hand, hand up as a Virgo. I have got no patience. But this is look for those messages, the messages, the synchronicities. Allow it to come in in divine timing and surrender. Let go and let the messages come in. OK, OK. Let go and let God is the hanging man's energy. All right. And it's also about looking at things from a different perspective. Look at things upside down and inside out. You see it differently. OK, so as you do that, then we are taking some action. So we're waiting patiently until we feel we have the signs, the synchronicity. So it may be you're waiting on a contract. Don't keep ringing them, calling them, texting them, nagging them, emailing them. I'll let go. Wait until you get the message and the message will come through. And then it's like, right, go, go, go. OK, now we can shift forward. The Knight of Wands is an action card, action on your passion. And we've got the Queen of Wands there. The Knight supports his queen. We are shifting towards this energy that is assertive, dynamic, determined, positive, focused, focus, focus, focus. That's come through very strongly for quite a few of the signs. Get focused and stay in the focus. Don't get distracted. Ooh, shiny, shiny distraction. Keep the focus. OK, and then we're moving into the co-creating energy from a place of power and empowerment, not from wishy-washy, wishing on a star, but from I am manifesting, creating and co-creating. This is my divine right. This is my birthright. I am a child of the universe and I deserve all good things. Comment that below. All right. So the Empress here supporting this energy, Venus led, all about love, what you love, money, flow, abundance, creating a wonderful, beautiful life. Let's have a look at this card because these are all new for me. First time the Empress has come out in this deck. It says on the bottom there, nourishment. But for me, the Empress, yes, it's nourishing. It's nourishing your soul, your body, your being. It's beautifying. It's bringing everything to life and to light. 
and it's a lovely beautiful energy so whatever it is you're creating a co-creating here Aquarius it's flowing and as we move into the second half of October it all starts to come together the fates destined meant to be the eight of cups we can now walk towards our happy happy all right and away from waiting 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 and we have the ten of pentacles supporting it just amazing all right so for example if you have been waiting for the um, a financial settlement from a divorce from the sale of a property anything like that it's coming through here and you're able to finally now move towards something quite new quite different quite better because we have the happy happy with the loyal heart now what is that about because i didn't talk about that one did i the loyal heart can talk about loving relationships is these owls again so we've got the owl here and the egg and now we've got the two owls and the egg for some of you this is a romantic loving relationship for others this is about being loyal to your dreams to the fairness i'm sticking with this i'm being loyal to me because i deserve it you're bringing that loyalty into yourself and into your heart but for a lot of you this is a beautiful connection if you are coupled up it is a closeness coming in a oneness coming in here for those of you single this is a really good time to be meeting somebody new and opening yourself up to new love because we have the loyal heart with the happy happy and the page of cups and would you just look at this all right because i haven't seen this one before i only started using these yesterday loyalty is what's written on the bottom of the page of cups how interesting and then we have a loyal heart here so there is a strong emphasis on loyalty i'm mindful of a comment i always read all of your comments and there was a comment the other day on one of the videos saying um why I, i'm leaving i'm leaving my my husband because i i know he's cheating and my last husband cheated as well why am i um you know having all of this betrayal what's wrong with me and i replied and said there's nothing wrong with you but what you're looking for is loyalty and if you are not loyal to yourself you're not going to attract loyalty to you so step into the energy of loyal to you so follow through with what you say you're going to do for yourself be loyal to you your dreams your hopes your aspirations and then you will attract loyalty in and around you okay so page of cups loyalty loyal heart happy happy we've got a beautiful outcome here so let's find out some more let me get another deck here okay let's clarify so this is the legacy uh, tarot legacy of the divine tarot i think it's called all the cards i used are linked below along with the link to my website if you want to book in with me i am open for bookings all right we're all the fool see we've got this new beginning coming okay the five of coins that's coming to an end we've got the page of cups again so he's showing up twice there with the page of coins so there's the opportunities coming in for happiness for money so this struggle this lack this this is not loyal nobody's being loyal to me right i'm struggling i'm on my own nobody's helping me nobody's supporting me i need this new beginning and i gotta trust and imagine that it's on its way because it is okay so we need to just align with it all right tell me a little bit more please seven of wands six of coins ten of wands and the eight of coins see look it's all coming good it's all coming good so the seven of wands is all about you defending your territory defending your dreams your goals your aspirations defending yourself protecting yourself no more being miss nice guy or mr nice guy you can still be nice but you're not going to be a pushover you're like no this is what i want see the way he's defending that space defending his door it's like get back get back get away this is my dream this is my goal and i don't care how many people are going to come and push up against me i'm sticking to it with my focused intent because i am moving from the five to the six of coins i'm going from struggle to abundance 
The six of coins is a balance. You always see the scales in the six of coins. We're coming into that justice, that balance. We're coming into more than enough. And now we move into the opportunities that are being created here to bring you greater happiness and to end the struggle, the burden, the ten of wands. It's been hard. It's been a long road, but we're finally breaking through and breaking free. So the page of coins with the eight of coins, for many of you, this is a new job that is now starting. We can start it. We're getting better money. We're getting better abundance. For those of you not working, and I know lots of you don't work, you're retired or stay at home carers and parents and things like that. So this is working on your imagination, your dreams, your goals, working on your loyalty, working on your happiness. How do you align with happiness if you don't know what you want? Get clear, get focused. What is going to bring you happiness? Is it friends, social life, support? Is it a wonderful partnership? What is going to create that happiness? And then once you identify outside of you, you bring the attention inside of you and see if you are already a match to it. So if you've got a beautiful, loyal relationship with yourself and you love yourself absolutely and appreciate yourself, then that is the energy you want to be in to draw to you a partner who will mirror that back to you. All right. Anything else to add on this? No, they would like me to now go to what are the challenges, obstacles that may be coming up for you in October? What can my Aquarius look out for in terms of challenges and obstacles? Because heads up, we can then work around them. All right, Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers and the Four of Wands. Okay, so for many of you, this whole situation is related to a relationship or a home or both. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles that signifies money, security, stability with the Lovers and the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is the home and marriage card. Many of you are moving home, buying and selling a home. Many of you are waiting for a divorce final, final settlement to be able to start your new life, happy, happy, without that hanging over you. So the obstacles potentially are to be able to say, I'll only be secure and safe once this comes through. Um, the obstacle with the lover is I need to be able to make a decision when it feels right and I feel like I've got the information from that message in a bottle. And the four of wands is that stability. I mean, these are really positive cards, but when they're in the challenge position is to sort of be aware of it, that these things take time. I'm already secure and I'm getting more secure. I'm easily able to make a decision. I'm open to all the opportunities and I'm ready to fly when I feel I've got my wings and the time is right. I'm being patient, okay? So this is coming in, but it's an obstacle to say don't jump ahead of yourself don't get frustrated and align with it now does that make sense all right so let's that's the challenges so what's the helpful advice please what's the helpful advice for my Aquarius so that's helpful advice to know what the challenges are but what I want now is what's the positive advice okay so what can we do to really help we've got the owls the man and I don't read reversals um oh they're saying leave it in reverse okay all right fair enough okay so the Lenormand deck this is okay the owls signify news high level news higher um spiritual information predominantly owls represent wisdom and our spiritual connection so there's news coming in here in your heart in your being in your higher self from intuition from messages coming in and around you this can also be physical news coming in as in a call and an email 
So we have the news coming in predominantly from somebody who is going to be very helpful to you. We have the man here. Now, male or female, don't necessarily worry about the gender, but this is somebody who is very action orientated, very masculine energy, even if it's a female, to say we are now moving you to the end of the struggle. All right. The cross represents death and endings and grieving is over. It's done. So, for example, those of you going through a divorce, waiting for this settlement, waiting for it to all close out. We do go through grieving when we're going through a divorce. But it's kind of like when the final settlement comes, when the final gravel goes down, it's like it's done. I'm not grieving anymore. I can let go and I can start my new life. All right. Um, for those of you, nothing to do with divorce or financial settlements in any way, there is an ending here of a struggle as we open up to a brighter, more bountiful, is the word they're giving me, brighter, more bountiful time for you, Aquarius. Very nice indeed. All right, let's finish off with an angel card, please. Final message for my beautiful Aquarians. What's the last message? Thank you. Okay. Another one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Blessing and awareness. All right. So with all this imagining and creating and co-creating of fates, imagining all of this now, bring everything into your awareness. Be really open to those messages coming in, allowing yourself to see all of this as a blessing, including the timing. All right. Sometimes, you know, we can rail against the timing, but the universe knows what it's doing. And when we can just trust that everything is unfolding in perfect timing, we see it all as a blessing because it absolutely is. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for spending time with me. If you found this reading helpful, give it a thumbs up, a like, a share, all that lovely good stuff. And I'll be back in a couple of weeks time. Enjoy. Have a lovely day, week, month, and I'll see you soon. You take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.